be amongst you again this year. And I would like first to speak to those who have been now together with us in Nagasaki. It's very important that you see the difference of these two parts of our village. Nagasaki that was to open our eyes and to see many things. We saw uh, many places, we were always on, on, on walking and, and meditating and seeing one event and miracle of our Lord and of our Lady after the other. We were very, very much impressed about uh, the, the incredible message of the martyrs of Japan. Also about all what is uh, concerned with the, uh, the atom bomb, marvelous example of the Catholics around that, especially the Dr. Takashi Nagai. And finally, the extraordinary example of St. Maximilian Kolbe and the city of the Immaculata. But all this brought us to one conclusion, that all this is possible only because of the incredible power and incredible intercession of Our Lady, the Mother, the Immaculata. Now, we come to a completely other situation. Akita will not present itself with many, many things. It will be rather poor. In fact, we will have most of our times in this chapel conference room. And we will find ourselves before the statue of Our Lady of Akita, a wooden statue, very humble, very simple, and that's all. So this time, Our Lady asks us just the contrary from that what we did the last time. She asks us rather to close our eyes than to open them. Or the better spoken, to fix our eyes to just one concrete reality, which is ourself.
We started now to understand uh, through all these events that she must be incredible. She is so great. She is so powerful. She, she is able to make of pagans within one century millions of martyrs, of heroes. <laughs> She is able to change the hearts of people with just in one moment. So, Mother, if you are so mighty, if you are so strong, if you are so powerful, tell me, who are you? This is the reason why we are here now. We must know her better because we do not know her enough. You may ask what? I know Mother Mary well. I pray her very much. Much more than you, Father. <laughs> I, I talk with her all the time. And you say I don't know, I don't know her? Yes, I say it. And I say it with the words of Saint Maximilian Kolbe. He says that we, in fact, we almost know nothing about her. In general, he writes, it can seem that we already know, that we are already acquainted with who is the Mother of God. But in reality, we must confess that we know very little about her. <laughs> it is like an unknown world. But she desires to be known by her children. Now look, this is Saint Maximilian Kolb who says that. He is the very specialist of our lady. Who are we in comparison to him? We have the knowledge of our catechism about her, and that's good. However, I just ask myself, do you know the catechism out very well? That she is the mother of God? She is our mother. And what that and what that means? Of course. And she at the end of that she is conceived immaculate. Of course. So all these truths about Mary are known to you, but only superficial. And said Maximilian Kolb and all the saints say, but we must, must go into the depths. It's, 
And this is the true knowledge of Mary, which brings you to the true love and true devotion to Mary. You will surprise yourself that you use uh, titles towards Mary you don't understand. And one of them, what speaks specially during this pilgrimage, is the Mother of Mercy. We talk a lot. And some of us talk very much. We use the words and we repeat them. But we have forgotten to think what they mean. And therefore, our speech is superficial. We talk about things we don't understand ourselves. Look, if you only would go and meditate a little bit about words like love of God. If you would just a little bit meditate about what we say in so many prayers, our Father. We say it so superficially, our Father, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and, and, and Father? What is a Father? <laughs> father has given his life for the child. The child receives everything as heritage from the father. Now the eternal God, creator of heaven and earth, who is all and you are nothing, he wants to be your father. Saint Teresa of Child Jesus, she can meditate months and months only about the Our Father and falls in, in, in the greatest love, just meditating about this one word. And therefore it is important that you must understand to enter in the world of Mary, you must really also start to meditate about these titles about her. And now we have immediately another problem. The first that we are hopeless superficial. The second is that we treat the mysteries of our whole of our holy religion, religion normally as a beautiful holy thing. And this thing is maybe a list of truths of faith. A beautiful logic doctrine. 
you know, um, or an exceptional performance, liturgical, uh, liturgical performance. Or beautiful songs pleasing to our ears. All that's true, but it's not sufficient. The essential of our religion is not something with someone. <laughs> so Maximilian Kolbe writes, when you prepare yourself to meditate about the Immaculata, don't forget that at that moment you are entering into contact with the living being. It's a living being who loves you. Who loves you, we continue. So therefore, when you start to know her, to, 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 to meditate about her, have yourself her before you. Herself, her eyes, who look into your eyes. Her hands open towards you, giving you hand, giving in your hand, my child. Maria, so many, many, so 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 many, and I stand before her like a dirty child. And she smiles towards me, this heavenly smile of Our Lady. Therefore, you see, you must get silent. You must look towards her and hear what she says. <coughs> what we are doing normally when we come to pray? Name of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Oh, Mary, Mother Mary, I need this. I need that. I'm sick. My husband, my brother is sick. My, my, my child is sick. My, my, my people are dying. Please, please help me. My pocket is empty. I need money. <laughs> I need to have Or you jump, jumping into the into the into the into the chapel, into the mass. Arriva, just arriving, of course, a little bit too late. Just they are singing in the kiri. You, you just find yourself a place in the fuse and so on. And you think, oh, this person besides me seems wrong. This man, he, this guy, he insulted me yesterday. You should have said mass. And 
and maybe at the communion you will start to think where you are. Well, let's be humble. Very often it's a little bit like that, even if I exaggerate a little bit. That's, that must that must that must change. And now you have the chance. In the presence of a very outstanding presence of Mary, of her personal coming and intervention in this place. To become like St. Bernadette in Lourdes, who said, Our Lady teaches me everything. And Bernadette was asked, What is your spirituality? She answered, Very easy. I look how she does, and I do it the same. I imitate her. She teaches me how to pray, how to deal with the people, how to live. And then you start to pray, to pray really. Prayer is not to talk a lot. But to be silent a lot, to hear, to open your eyes. So in the beginning of our, of our let me say, Akita pilgrimage, I would like to ask you that you will ask our lady now very often, Oh Mother, now I need to know you better so that I may love you deeper. A good mother, a loving mother, she wants that her beloved child knows everything about her. I see how you are. I see if you would be a mother and your child would not be interested in you at all. The a child would be interested in only in you if he wants somebody.
how life is and why and for what you all these things. You are so weak, she wants to give you strength. We have no idea how mother, how much Mother Mary waits, just waits that we come to her. But she can give all that only when we come to her and want to know her. Well, as I explained, theoretically we know already almost everything about that. So I will certainly not bring you a new doctrine which I got revealed somewhere in the fields. Look, if I would come and say here, I had a vision, I saw a light. So I will talk to you earlier. How was she looking like? What did she say? Oh, oh, oh. And all these things. That's not the way. It's not that how our lady generally gives herself. On the contrary, if I could talk you new things which are not in accordance to that, but always in talk, I would be probably a heretic. This is what happens today when some people come ahead and leave that and everywhere our lady appears and had all kinds of stuff to talk to you. And the ladies circle in the good afternoon coffee. Do you hear? Our lady spoke here, our lady spoke there, our lady were there, our lady were here. And everywhere she gives their own inspirations to these people, as they say, and you get troubled. Therefore, we have to stick only to those revelations and apparitions of our Lady which have been confirmed, authentic by Holy Mother Church. Greatest of all, of course, Fatima, Lourdes, La Salette. We come here to Akita because it is confirmed by the church. So, my dear friends, what we have to do now requires from you some conditions, and about this I want to speak at the beginning. If you want to enter into the world of Our Lady, it's such an incredible world, it's such immense that you should get silent. Please, uh, use this precious time. It depends maybe your holiness or your salvation on these days. 
皆さんが成人となるかならないか失敗するかあるいは休礼を達成するかできないかはこの数日にかかっているかもしれませんこの与えられた時間を大切に使ってください The world news. You can get it on Sunday also. あの携帯を使ってあっヤフーニュースとかグーグルニュースこれは日曜日この巡礼が終わってからでもよく知ることができます The computer games. Throw them away. コンピューターゲームそれはですね Of course, you don't do that. But it is important that you understand that if you get mingled with the things of the world, you cannot get in the same time into the heart of Mary. It's impossible. Most of the time, you can get in the same time into the heart of Mary. It's impossible. Most of the time, you can get in the same time into the heart of Mary. I know we love one another and we want to talk to one another. But please use this only in the moments of we have a recreation free time. But mainly these days you should recollect it. You should be in the intimacy of our life. You should love silence. And I ask you very, very much, this room should be a room where absolute silence is, 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 is objective. Because you cannot even imagine if somebody wants to pray in silence and behind him somebody is talking, then he he loses. He cannot concentrate himself. It's a it's an act of charity to keep the silence for the others also. I think this hotel is big enough that you find another place to talk. もしもお話をするならば、このホテルには他の場所もありますし、十分広さもあるので、そのスペースに移動してください。And if it's too small for you, you go into the woods. They are even bigger. もしもこのホテルでは足りないという時にはですね、森の中に入って、あるいは外の公園に行ってお食事してください。But understand, this silence of mouth is just uh, uh, just uh, uh, First condition. It's not insufficient. でもマリア様この,の接触のためには言葉の沈黙というのは第一の条件だってそれでは不十分です。You should really have in mind Mother Mary. You want me for you these days. マリア様が私たちのものであるということを望まなければ。And therefore, I don't want to be occupied with anything else. I want that my mind, my heart, would be these days full of you and your son. You know, where is the worst enemy of silence? Not the neighbor. Even not this machine. There can be big enemies. The worst enemy is here inside. You can trouble yourself if you only think about the past and the future. <coughs> 過去のことや未来の将来のことを考えることによって注目が崩れてしまいます。And here you must try to get the true silence now. ここでは皆さんは本当の注目に入れなければなりません
Remember, all great works of God were accomplished in deep silence. Look, when Jesus Christ was made man, and God came from heaven to earth, silence, absolute silence. When he died on the cross, in the deep silence of Holy Friday, and when he had vanquished hell, the devil, and the sin in the moment of his resurrection and glory, it's in the deep silence. Would you find more silence than the silence of the tabernacle? <coughs> and Jesus Christ changed bread in his body and wine in his blood, and he himself he comes and dwells among us in deep silence. <coughs> God, God is never in noise. God's habits are always deep inside. That's the atmosphere of God. And now, if you have that before your mind, you could try also to get silence. It's normal that you start to begin to think about what has happened once in your life, yesterday, last week, last month, last year. It's normal that it comes back to your mind all the time. Many elder ladies are dreaming, oh, 20 years ago I was so beautiful. <laughs> Many gentlemen think, oh, 20, 20 years ago I was so rich and important. <laughs> And especially the problems of your family, of your work, where, where you're surrounded, that hangs somewhere in your head. <coughs> and when you want to pray to our lady, suddenly all these stories and these vows <coughs> And then others of you will think about the future. What will become of me next year? How, how things will happen in the church? When will be the next earthquake? All the problems you have which come for the next moment, for the next year, for the next months, all that hangs somewhere in your poor head. And even for now, for now, there are problems of outside which impresses us. What shall I eat today? I can't eat raw fish all the time. I will die from hunger in this afternoon. And in Singapore it's so hot and here it's so cold. So all the troubles and sorrows you have today, and then of course the curiosity, what's happening? 
Then you today. How would the president of America stand up this morning? It's important for me. I must know about the news of your day. No, that's in our mind. And therefore again, text messages. What's happening at home?
それ皆さんにこのことを申し上げたのはなぜかというとこれから続くいろんなお話が<咳>雑念とこの雑,雑念とこの、えー、気,気が散らすことでやって頭の中に行くところに染み通らないからです。So if you do this constantly, もし皆さんが雑念をこうやって追い払う、いつも追い払うならば、you treat it like a, like a mosquito. それがこのように蚊で蚊を追い払うかのように、えーえー、考えるなら、If you have the mosquito coming, you know, and it says it's here. This year, mosquito. <laughs> you, you will kill yourself.